Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add a line graph in Excel. Let's say we have this table with the average temperature for each month of the year. First, select the insert menu here on the top left and click on this icon, which is the line graph icon, and select the first option. This white area is the graph area, but we need to populate it with our information. Right click over it and select Select the Data. On this window here, uh, we need to add our information. First, we need to add the information for the vertical axis or the Y axis. Click on Add button. And first, we need to select the name of your series. In this case, we are adding the average temperature. We can, I, we can either uh, type whatever you want for the title or we can select the cell that contains the title for our data set. To select the values, click on this icon just on the right side of the cell and select the range that you are um, using. Hit enter, click OK and notice that the Excel already populates the horizontal axis with numbers, but we don't want the numbers, we want uh, the actual names of the months. To update that, click on Edit and select the column with the, month, uh, the names of the months and click OK and OK. Notice that in this case, we have our horizontal label here in the middle of the graph and we don't want it here, we want it just below. To fix that, right click over the horizontal label, format axis, and on this menu called the labels, open it, scroll down if you need it, label position, just select low, and you can close this one. Here we have the first uh, version, this very simple version of our graph but we also want to add the high and the low temperature. The procedure is the same. Right click over the graph area, select the data. But here we are adding two other series on the left part. The right part will be the same because we are not changing the variables. Add series name, now we are selecting the low temperature and the data set will be this column. Okay, once again, add series name high, select the range that you are looking for, hit OK, and OK again. But now we don't have the title of the graph. It's because when you have just one line graph, the title of the graph will be the same as the title of the series. Here we have one graph with three series. So we need to add a title that has a general uh, scenario for our information. To add the title, select the graph and click on this plus sign on the top right and choose chart title. Now we can double click here and add whatever you want. I will add just monthly temperature. Also, we add, we add labels for our graph because we have three lines, but we don't know which one is which. Click on the plus sign again and select trend uh, legend, sorry. And we don't want the legend be here on the right, we want it on the bottom. Here, just besides the legend name, click on this little arrow and select the bottom. Now it's better. We also want to add the labels for the axis because the horizontal axis is pretty straightforward. We know that this is regarding months, but those numbers doesn't tell us much. It's the temperature, but is it Fahrenheit? Is it Celsius? We don't know yet. You can select axis title and just update both title here. For the horizontal title, we can select and delete it because we don't, we don't want to put any name on it. But for the vertical axis, just double click it and I'll add Celsius. I will just insert the symbol for decrease. 
Celsius. Okay. okay, now we have our labels, uh, our legends, and our series. Now we want to update the colors because it seems looks better for me if the high temperature would be, let's say, in red and the low being blue. Right click over the series that you are changing the color. And here on the outline, you can select the color that you want. We are not using the fill because lines in Excel are treated as a borders. So if you change the fill color, it, do, it doesn't do anything. Outline, red. And do the same for the other two. I want the blue for this one. And for the middle one, I want uh, gray. If you right click over the series and select format data series, a whole different menu opens here on the right side. You can play with that. There's a lot of ways to customize your graph. You can play with that, and but I, I will not do that today. I just close it. Here we are. That is our line graph. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, send this video to a friend. Uh, this really helps me to keep my channel on and I will see you in the next video.